Hi, welcome to another episode of Getting Into Infosec Bytes, short videos under five minutes covering news and resources aimed at helping you get into the information security field. I am Eamon Elswa. And the first item I want to talk about today is Marcus Hutchins, aka Malware Tech Blog. And if you don't know who he is, he is a person that stopped the WannaCry uh, malware from spreading across the world. WannaCry was one of the uh, worst uh, malwares ever written. And, um, you know, the, the reason that this story is important for you in helping you in your career is to understand a little about uh, information security history and, and the, the attacks that have happened and what happened behind those attacks and how those attacks happened and how those attacks were, you know, stopped. And not all attacks are stopped. Uh, but just understanding more about the history of uh, different parts of malware. Um, but also, his story is actually very, very interesting. Um, you know, he did save the internet from this huge attack, but then was also, uh, at the same time, virtually, uh, arrested for crimes that he'd committed earlier when he was younger. And I bring this up because this actually came up in another episode on the podcast with Nick, Je Nick Jeswald, and he's a cybersecurity recruiter, and he talked about people admitting to crimes that they had done, as if you know they're flaunting this. And I'm not saying that he was doing this, but the point is, if you had done something, uh, you know, don't bring it up in an interview. Uh, don't bring up any illegal activities. It will not help you in an interview. Uh, it's just point blank. So uh, that is something to consider. Listen to my episode with Nick Jeswald to learn more about that as well. Uh, and also another point is that a lot of major um, companies were hit by some of these uh, botnet attacks, right? So it, there goes in a little bit of history uh, about, uh, you know, how Netflix was uh, also affected. Let's go look for it here. And why can't I search? So uh, Netflix was hit by, you know, Netflix, Amazon, Spotify, a lot of them were hit by attack by a, the Mirai botnet. And the point is that they had there was a single point of failure so uh there you know even these big companies with their huge teams had neglected a, a little thing such as dns uh dns provider um regarding you know making that a single point of failure so something to consider when you're looking over the architecture of a network um as a defense so moving on uh you know one thing i want to so read the story you have to read the whole thing it's really good like a true cyber crime story it, uh, Special note to Andy Greenberg uh, for his really excellent writing and reporting. He was able to take all this information and wrap it in, in such a way that it was uh, entertaining, informative, and uh, gave an honest background to Marcus's background. And, and, there, and this is the first time he's coming out with, with the, these details. Uh, from the next item is Patch Tuesday. The reason this is important is you need to understand as a defender when Patch Tuesday is. It's the second Tuesday of the month. Uh, it comes out from Microsoft. That's when they release their CVEs that um, their security patches that have happened. So it's up to you as a defender to get that rolled out in your network, in your infrastructure, uh, and get that um, taken care of and addressed. And it's also important as a pen tester to take some of these CVEs if you want to do a POC, if you want to test some of this out. Um, you, as a defender too, you need to do this as well. Um, when something comes out and someone's like, oh, that's not going to affect us. Well, uh, to take a look and see how it could affect you. Um, again, when using POCs, you want to write your own POCs or or really be very careful with using uh, POCs uh, that are out there. Uh, but again, this is something to consider and we're running out of time. So go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you really want to support these videos, uh, definitely spread the word. It definitely helps to uh, let people know about this so that um, it can get out there. Thank you. Bye.